Species interact with each other, creating complex networks of mutual dependencies. Work at the Bascompte lab explores to what degree the structure of those networks affects species persistence, what can be understood as the architecture of biodiversity. Genes in their alleles underlie population persistence, yet their impact on ecological communities remains unclear. To study the genetic basis of the persistence of ecological communities, we created a food web consisting of a plant, two species of aphids, and a parasitoid wasp. The wasp parasitizes the aphids. These aphids compete for their shared resource, Arabidopsis thaliana, and these interactions are mediated by a group of specialized metabolites called aliphatic glucosinolates. We used four Arabidopsis genotypes that recreate natural variation in null and functional alleles at three genes that control the biosynthesis of aliphatic glucosinolates. The chemical phenotype of each Arabidopsis genotype depends on which genes have null and functional alleles. We first tested for genetic effects on food web persistence and found that plants with a null AOP2 allele reduced the extinction rate by 29% compared to those with the functional allele. Our results indicate that AOP2 functions as a keystone gene in this food web with allelic differences at AOP2 having a disproportionate effect on extinction rate. To understand how variation at AOP2 determined food web persistence, we analyzed its role in determining transitions in food web structure. We found that the initial food web underwent a transition where either all insects went extinct or, more commonly, into a three-species food chain with Lipophis erysimi. This remaining food chain either persisted for the duration of the experiment or transitioned into either an aphid-only food web or Arabidopsis-only state. The keystone role of AOP2 acted primarily to prevent the transition from the three-species food chain to the Arabidopsis-only state, with a null AOP2 allele reducing the weekly risk of this food chain transition by 67%. Taken together, our results show that variation at a single gene can control the persistence of interacting species in a food web.